Welcome to this week's Simon. Oh, before you go any further, can you make the font bigger? Cases are urgently required, and consequently considerable efforts are being made to search for new trypanosomal compounds. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like a little mouse. <laughs> like a little mouse. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Swati. And I'm... <laughs> oh, it says there, I'm Swati and... And... <laughs> and... <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm Jacques. <laughs> I just wait. Okay, let's start again. Oh, God, okay. This is a very interesting story because the kiwi has the biggest egg of, yeah, of yeah, all birds. Yeah, it has birds. the smallest body. Well, it's but kind of a small body, the but the, the egg is about a third of its body. I remember its we body. saw the uh, skeleton yeah. of the kiwi with the egg. I remember that, yeah, yes. That's yes. exactly yeah. right. So, so I'm, I'm always thinking that, you know, if a chicken clucks when it lays an egg, <laughs> what sound does a kiwi make? <laughs> this, it has always been... Uh, you know, one of those things is people wondered why does it have this enormous egg and um, what happened there is either you can have a small bird developing a big egg or a big bird becoming smaller but the egg stays the same size right. and when they started doing this analysis and they did the sequencing it looked like they um, it's actually related to these, these e extinct elephant birds I wonder if we can tie this in with like chickens or something because um, then we could roll out an egg yeah you know something. there has been a really <sighs> this is another really interesting migration story i love migration stories I know. Well, I this know. is so cool <laughs> the coffee genome did they do the cocoa bean recently the latest one i saw is the juke juke <laughs> the juke juke tree. Have I heard of it? No. <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up. 